Next, the parents from Hertfordshire calling for more awareness and better diagnosis of cancer in young adults after their daughter died last year, aged just 27. Andrea and Simon Brady's daughter Jessica had liver cancer. The pandemic meant she struggled to get a face-to-face -face GP appointment didn't get an early diagnosis and treatment for her condition. The petition they started calling for improved diagnosis of cancer in younger people now has more than 200,000 signatures. Stuart Leeds has this report. The petition Andrea and Simon Brady started after the death of their daughter Jessica now has more than 200,000 signatures. It's calling for better awareness and diagnosis of cancer in young adults. Jessica, who was 27 and lived in Stevenage, died from liver cancer in December last year. We're really asking for government support for our GPs to facilitate um, more accurate diagnosis at stage one and two. Um, I think currently it's about 50% of patients are diagnosed by a GP at that stage. Jessica had struggled to get a face-to-face -face appointment with a GP during the pandemic. She had very little actual face-to-face -face contact, was um, very limited during that time. And um, her, being her age, her demographic group that she belonged to, um, led to lots of reassurances that um, it was not something serious. The Health Secretary, Sajid Javid, has recently said that because we're no longer at the peak of COVID, GPs should now be offering more face-to-face -face access. But the Bradys are also emphasising that they feel there is a wider need for more focus on the diagnosis of cancer in young people. The effects of people in their 20s, 30s, 40s dying as just did, it's enormous because they're leaving behind uh, often partners, young children, they're working, they have colleagues and socialising, they have friends and that has a massive on, impact on our society. The charity Cancer Research UK says it's important to remember that disease doesn't just affect people in later life. The Bradys would like to see more cancer specialists based in GP surgeries. Jess had everything to live for and everything to hope for mm. and she didn't have the opportunity to receive treatments. In October, they delivered a copy of their petition to 10 Downing Street, and they've since heard that it's due to be debated in Parliament on Friday. Stuart Leiths, ITV News. Well, joining me now is Dr. Jodie Moffat, Head of Early Diagnosis at Cancer Research UK. Now, Jodie, we just heard the tragic story of Jessica, who was just 27 when she died from liver cancer. The pandemic has meant fewer face-to-face -face appointments with GPs. What impact has that had on cancer diagnosis? Hello. Uh, it is absolutely such a sad story. In terms of the impact of the remote consultations on cancer diagnosis, to be perfectly honest with you, there's a lot that we still need to unpick. There's a lot of data and evidence that are needed to, to know the situation fully. Uh, but for sure, the pandemic has had a huge impact on cancer services. It's changed how people respond to symptoms. It's altered how we can see our, our health professionals. It's altered how they may respond to people who come forward to them and they too in health professional terms have faced challenges around what tests and services are available to them in order to manage their patients most effectively so a huge impact of the pandemic obviously early diagnosis is key to improving survival rates jessica's family is calling for more cancer specialists to be based in gp surgeries what difference do you think that could make there is undoubtedly a really important role for GPs and primary care colleagues broadly to play in cancer diagnosis. And there is still absolutely opportunity to improve how GPs and uh, others are managing and dealing with people who come forward with symptoms. But they are doing a really difficult job actually. Spotting cancer is hugely challenging. Symptoms don't always stand out very clearly and can be easily confused. So if we're supporting primary care, equipping them with knowledge, equipping them with access to tests, hopefully that will make a big difference in turning diagnosis around. And finally, what is your message to someone who may have symptoms that are bothering them, but so far have been reluctant to try to speak to their GP about them? We know that there are people out there who are sitting on symptoms, maybe thinking, should they come forward? 
please do come forward. Yes, there are challenges at the moment and, and you might need to try a bit harder to get that appointment, but it is so much better to be in the system than outside of it. So please do make that appointment. And if it's tricky, keep trying. Early diagnosis could make all the difference. Dr. Jodie Moffat, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.